So I'm go I'm going to discuss the adjustment for taxation uh, for companies, company final accounts. In our uh, company final accounts uh, question, one of the main adjustment is taxation. So when you take the uh, past the questions, so every year uh, the company final account adjustment is given, right? So I'll explain the accounting uh, part. So there are two methods we can do the <coughs> company accounts uh, tax adjustment, right? One is under provision, and one is over provision, <coughs> under provision, and over provision. So I'll take two examples to explain this and uh, we will do some uh, fast paper questions. So under provision, normally we get the trial balance and additional information. So in under provision, uh, let's take an example. In the trial balance, we have provision for taxation. Opening balance, right? Opening provision for taxation. Let's say it's hundred, hundred thousand. Then you will have tax paid. Let's take it as thousand five hundred. So in the trial balance, you will get uh, two main information, right? Then the additional information. Additional information, uh, they will give you the previous year actual tax. Right? So, open provision means previous year provision made for taxation, tax provision. And here, in the additional information, they will give you the previous year actual tax. So let's say actual tax is 150, and you will get another information, current year, current year estimated tax. So let's say it's 2000. Current year estimated tax is 2000. So this is what you get in the uh, paper. So you can do this in two methods. I'll explain both the methods. Method one, using the statement. Using the statements, right? So. We are using two statements. We need to calculate two things. One is expense for the year, tax expense for the year. Then secondly, the tax payable. So first one, current year, How do you calculate current year tax expense? This equals to estimated current year tax, estimated current year tax plus or minus under over provision. Estimated current year tax plus minus under over provision is equals to current year tax expense. <coughs> current year 
10 centimeters. Then second thing that you need to know is tax payable. Tax payable. So how do you calculate the tax payable? Tax payable is estimated you can take previous year actual tax previous year actual tax plus current year estimated tax or we can say estimated current year tax so you get the total tax payable the answer will be the total tax from that you have to deduct the tax paid then your answer will be the tax payable right you can use this method okay <clears throat> so let me explain estimated current year tax is 2000 estimated current year tax now we are going to calculate the expense current year expense which is which goes to the income statement so estimated current year tax expense estimated is 2000 then you need to see under over provision previous year <coughs> this is the opening balance that means previous year we provided 100000 Previous year we provided hundred thousand. All the values in thousand. Okay. <clears throat> but previous year actual is one fifty. That means this is an under provision. We have provided less. Actually, the tax should be hundred and fifty, but we have provided only hundred. It's an under provision. So we can't change previous year tax expense. Therefore, what we do is we add the under provision. So for 2000, we add another 50. So current year tax expense will be 2050. This year estimated tax is 2000. Previous year actual is 150, but we have provided only 100, 50 less. So previous year expense is 50,000 less. Therefore, you need to increase. You need to take that into current year tax expense. So current year tax expense will be 2050. Right? So that goes to income statement. Then we need to calculate the tax payable. How much is payable which goes to the statement of financial position on the balance sheet. Previous year actual tax. That is 150. We need to pay for previous year 150. This year, how much you need to pay? 2000. So total tax is 2150 and we have paid 1500. Therefore, tax payable is 650. This is how you calculate uh, the current year tax expense which goes to income statement and the tax payable amount which goes to statement of financial position. Now the same thing, we can do using ledger account. Ledger accounts. Right. So I'll explain the same uh, with the double entry system. You can use any method that is comfortable for you. So we need two ledger accounts. One is provision for taxation account. provision for taxation account and tax expense account. This is the expense and this is the provision for taxation. Right. So we need to follow four steps. We need to follow four steps. Right. So first step is record the opening balance. Opening 
provision balance. That is, provision for taxation account, balance brought forward. How much is the balance brought forward? 100. Remember, whatever in the trial balance, you will record only once. All additional information or adjustments, you have to record the double entries. Right? So first step, record the opening provision balance. Second step, record the under, over provision. Under, over provision. So we found that the under provision is 50. So last year, we have provided, this is payable for last year. We provided 100, but this is not 100, this should be 150. So we need to increase this by 50. It's an under provision. And your expense also will increase. Tax 50. Provision for tax. It's 50. Then, third step is current year estimated tax. Estimated current year tax. So that is our current year expense which is payable. So expense account debit, provision for tax. How much is estimated tax? 2000. Tax expense 2000. So these are our double entries. This is opening balance. Then your last step, step number four, is tax paid. So what's the double entry for tax paid? Cash account credit. And we are taking it from the trial balance, only one entry. This is the total payable. See, this is equal to this. 2150 is payable. We have paid 1500. So number four, cash, 1000. So if you balance the provision for the uh, provision for taxation account, the balance goes to statement of financial position. And if you balance the tax expense account, the difference goes to income statement. So 2150 and balance carried down, balance brought forward 650. 650 is the balance brought forward, which is recorded in the statement of financial position. And the difference in this is we transfer to the income statement. So see both methods, you can do the tax calculation. Whatever the question you get, right, you have this information. So from this, you have to do it. But they will give this in a different method. So let me uh, explain the over provision. Right? Let me explain the over provision. So I change few amounts. So this will be same. The format won't change. Double entries I will explain. Right? These formats are same. So for any question, you can use the same format. Either you can use the statement method, or else you can use the uh, ledger account. Right? So let's assume that the previous year actual tax is 80. You have provided 100 but actual tax is 80. That means the provision is over, over provision. We have provided more. Actual is 80, but we provided more, right? So what you do is, what you do is, the statement, estimated current year tax is 2,000. Over 
ग्रोशर वट यू डू फॉर ओवर ग्रोशर वी हैव प्रोवाइडेड मोर देर फोर फ्रॉम दिस इयर यू कैन रिड्यूज दैट ओवर प्रोविशन ऑफ ट्वेंटी सो एक्सपेंस फॉर द इनकम स्टेटमेंट विल रिड्यूज बाई ट्वेंटी बिकॉज लास्ट ईयर ट्वेंटी एक्स्ट्रा प्रोवाइडेड expenses extra provided therefore this year you have to deduct the 20 so current year tax expense will be 1980 then previous year actual tax is 80 for previous year we need to pay 80 for the current year we need to pay 2000 total tax is 2080 out of that 2080 tax paid is 1500 therefore answer is 580 580 is payable uh, for taxation which goes to statement of financial position on the current liabilities now manager number one we follow the same steps first step is the opening balance what is the opening balance it's 100000 opening balance is 100 then the second step we have over provision actual is 80 we provided 100 so 20 extra we need to deduct it from the provision over provision our expense also will reduce tax provision also will reduce then the third step is current year estimated tax which is 2000 same double entry only different this is under provision then current year estimated tax is 2000 payable account credit and expense account debit 2000 and finally fourth transaction tax paid thousand five hundred so if you balance these ledger accounts you can find the amount which goes to the balance sheet and the amount which will be recorded in the income statement so this is in the tax expense account 2000 minus 20 is 1980 Minus twenty thousand nine eighty, and the balance carried down. Total two thousand one hundred, two thousand one hundred. Yeah, it's eighty. Five hundred. So you get the same answer, right? Under provision and over provision.